and I'll use this same product and we'll move it back across the peat moss and just almost magically the paint disappears and the peat moss stays brown in color. Now also I'll tilt this paint up a little bit you can see that all of the transmission fluid has also been absorbed in this little uh, demonstration I've got over here. Now we've already used this pile to pick up a big oil slick and now I'll fill the middle with the red transmission fluid and it absorbs it without even agitation. So when I say it's the most powerful absorbent, it's also the most powerful wicking agent which gives it a wicking power uh, without moving it around. So you can literally surround a spill uh, and uh, create a berm and, and prevent that oil from escaping. Now, the next thing I'm going to show is a, is a fuel spill. And on a fuel spill, most of your adsorbents or your granule based products are useless because a lot of the viscosity, the less they work. We saw it, the oil conglomerate pretty good to the clay granules, but the oil's all on the outside. We saw it pick up less of the paint because it was a lot of viscosity and it left a lot of the, the paint behind. Even more so, once we get to a fuel, uh, the clay is completely ineffective because of the surface tension. So we get to a real light solvent here, emulating a gasoline or a diesel fuel. You can see that the solvent is disappearing almost instantly into the sphagnum peat moss. Now the last demonstration, I need a couple of cups, plastic cups, and some water. And I'm going to take um, just some ordinary tap water here or filtered water. And I'm going to fill one of the cups. And then we're going to take the red transmission fluid. We use this because you can see it a lot easier in the water. And I'm going to put about five times the amount of oil in that cup as we put on the pan to demonstrate the biomatrix. Now again, your clay granules, your clay base, kitty litter base products are not going to float it's going to go onto the water and it's going to go right through the oil or fuel and sink to the bottom carrying a lot of the fuel and oil with it. A true absorbent is going to absorb the oil but once the sphagnum peat moss has been dried it actually converts in its natural state from a hydrophilic substance where you use for potting soil and using your uh, garden, your flower beds mainly to hold in moisture but once the peat moss is heat activated and that heat activation means drying it down to 10 percent moisture content it actually goes through a metamorphosis and it changes from hydrophilic to hydrophobic and at this point it'll actually float on water for 72 hours without absorbing any of the water and but yet it'll absorb all the oil now I could take this and hold it up and the camera may or may not be able to see on the bottom there was tiny, uh, literally thousands of tiny little air bubbles on the bottom, but uh, also you can see that there's no transmission fluid on there. It's completely brown. In fact, it's as brown on the bottom as it is on top. Now, I'm going to take a paper towel, and I'm going to place this paper towel into this other cup, make an indentation, and then I'm going to pour all of the oil, transmission fluid, and bi matrix into this towel. And to show you that our product doesn't leach, I've got a bleach white bounty paper towel here surrounded with about an ounce and a half of transmission fluid covered in biomatrix. So what 
we're going to do here is we're even going to squeeze this. And the only thing that is going to be released is the water itself. No transmission fluid. Not even a sheen, not even a color swirl on the surface of the water. All of our transmission fluid has been trapped into the biomatrix. And I'll even turn the towel around so you can see that there's no evidence of transmission fluid. If we had just a drop of the transmission fluid get through, you would easily see it on the towel, as I just displayed right there. So up to 50 pounds of pressure. So when you have uh, spills on, in the marine applications or in the water in a bilge, you can put the uh, peat moss on there and then net it right off within minutes and capture all your fuel and your oil spills. Even if it takes days, you know you got 72 hours before the peat is going to sink. And uh, so that gives you plenty of time to recover. Uh, the uh, biomatrix in a, in a situation where there's, there's water spill. Thank you very much. That's all I have uh, on the demonstration today. Thanks.